do we see the presence of God if we are not making our life to be different? The question this morning is the Holy Spirit. He has come to introduce us to the plan of God for our life. Without the Holy Ghost in our lives, our life will never make him part. And that's why Jesus told them in Acts chapter 1. If you check from verse 1 to 7, nothing happened. But verse 8, he said, The only way why your life will not be confused is to look unto the Holy Ghost. He said, You shall receive power. Power. Akbar. Akbar You will receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Then you'll be my witnesses in all Jerusalem and all Judea. You will become what I want you to become. Some people are ordained by God to become a billionaire, to become a senator, a governor. But Satan cut their life short. Why? Because the power is not there. Some people are ordained they can be, that, that they should become the father of children, but they don't have any babies. Why? The power is not there. That's why I said, I have come to give you power. And when I give you that power, people will know you. Not only in Nigeria, they will know you everywhere. You see why? Some of the people call us, they call us on phone and say, I heard somebody talking about you in the US there, in Canada, in London. Is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, nobody will know you. Nobody. Nobody will know you. And when the Holy Spirit is working, it is a point of understanding that believers must allow you to walk. All this talk, talk in church, somebody trying to discourage somebody. Who will make a judge over the anointed? That's why some people, they don't do good. They don't look good. Because when I'm standing in the midnight and say, Lord, whoever is blocking your work in this church, Lord, make them wretched. You are the same pastor that will be looking for how to give them money. That is why tonight's message is a very powerful message. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be my witnesses on Jerusalem and on Judea. I've seen people who have looked at our people and that people bring them, brought them to church. If I want to do it, I can't do it alone. But the Holy Ghost can do anything. Ma, as I'm talking, he's working in America now. He's working in Akangpa now. He's working, he's working on our Facebook page right now. Because whenever you're watching me right now, the anointing is coming on you right now. He's working everywhere. If you believe me, say your loudest, say amen. Say your loudest, say amen. But right now, people don't understand the subject of the Holy Ghost. It's not about falling. I've seen people who fall, but they go back to their back characters. I've seen people who carry title, but there is nothing in their mantle. No mantle in their title. I have seen people carry oil, olive oil, but nothing is inside it. Any manifestation without the Holy Ghost will lead to demonstration of frustration. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come. Spirit, you will receive power after the ghost has come upon you. The only way you, the world will respect you is to carry the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, he said, He said, How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who we went about doing good and healed all the them because God was with him. You know, I'm not working, but I'm doing what people who are working cannot do. I am just pushing this gospel. I am preaching the Bible, preaching the word of God. I wish you can see us last Friday. Rain was beating us in evangelism. Then the God who employed me must pay me. If you are in any way and they are paying you salary this period, thank them. You shall receive power. Somebody who is ready to receive power, say amen. Say your loudest, say amen. Say your loudest, say amen. 
Why do we need the Holy Ghost? Because our enthronement will not take place. We saw a man called Saul. Saul was looking for donkey. But he did not get the donkey because the person that will make him to find the donkey was not with him. When the Holy Ghost is at work in your life, your, your life will be your life will be fundable. Your life will be important. Your life will be important. But when the Holy Ghost came upon Saul, as the oil came on him, he did not only have donkey, he has a kingdom. He became a king overnight. There are many of you here this morning, this evening, before the month is over, wherever great people stay, you'll find yourself there. Can I hear your brutal amen? Can I hear your brutal amen? Hear me, believe me, shout aloud there, say amen. You need the Holy Ghost. When he came upon Saul, Saul became a king overnight. If, if he comes on you, you must be known. If he comes on you, you must be enthroned. If he comes on you, they must look for you. There are many of you here in the name of Jesus. That little business you are doing now. The Holy Ghost will call the billionaires to look for you in this time. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout the Holy Ghost. Look at Jesus for instance. For 30 years, nobody knew him. But when the Holy Ghost came upon him, Everybody knew him. In Luke chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus returned in the power of the... The word spirit means the anointing. And the face spread abroad. Everybody began to know him. They began to see that this is not just a carpenter's son. This is a deliverer. How do you know? He opened blind eyes. He made the cripple to walk. He made the deaf to hear carry the Holy Ghost and your level will never be the same way. Just carry it. Carry his personality. Carry this person I'm talking about. And tonight you are going to be looking at how to carry him. How to activate him in your life. And wherever you are sitting, lift your hands up. Tell the Holy Spirit, give me understanding. 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 Give me understanding of your personality. In Jesus' name. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. He said, And David was anointed by Saul. And I prophesied by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, which I am using to preach any yoke around my life and your life. The Holy Ghost is breaking that yoke right now. And to understand that unction brings function. Whenever there is unction, there is a function. And function brings production of creative miracles. First John chapter 2, verse 27. He said, You have not received, you have come to receive the oil from the Holy One, which will teach you all things. He will teach you. He will teach you. He will, when I see a man forgetting things, a woman forgetting things, I wonder the kind of person you are. You are not wired to forget things. You are wired to be intelligent. That's why when God created you, the angel will marvel at you. He said, what is man that that mind for of him? What is the son of man that that taken out of him? In Psalm, Psalm, Psalm chapter 8 verse 4. He said, what is man that that mind for What is the son of man that thou taken out of him? You hear this? Whatever is functionally negative in your life. In your life. Is hereby arrested by the anointing of the Holy Ghost today. And to see what is the source of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Without the anointing of the Holy Ghost, there is no miracle of God. There is no miracle anywhere. Without the anointing of God in my life, there is no anointing. There is no miracle. I have seen where those have seen where, where people who don't like me, when they see me, they began to like me. That is his personality. That is his presence. It makes you to be likable. It makes you to be lovable. It makes people to see you admirable. Carry him. Carry him and you will not see for soon that others are seeing I am not the most anointed man of God in this town. But I'm enjoying the presence of the Holy Ghost in unusual manner. The Holy Ghost. It's a divine personality that we need in our generation. We need it. In Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 11, we saw how they opened blind eyes. How they made a man to walk. And have been lame for several years at the beautiful gate. Who will do that? The Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 4, verse 13. He said, When they saw they were unlearned and ignorant men, 
the children of Israel them because they have been with Christ. But in chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, he said, And the Holy Ghost came upon like a glowing tongue as of fire. Number 2, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is a divine supplier of raw art, raw works. And that is why this month, the kind of testimony we heard testimony on Sunday, very powerful. Them, the kind of testimony we have not heard, the Holy Ghost is about to start in our commission. It's about to start it in my life and your life. Are you saying your loudest? Amen. Amen. How many of you believe that God, the Holy Ghost is about to start something good in your life? In Acts chapter 20, verse 22, the word told us, He said, Long time boldly, they keep declaring, Who gave a grace to the word of His grace and make a sign to be done by the apostle? So, anyways, miracle happened, wonders happened, raw art happened. However, what is the source of the anointing of the Holy Ghost? I'm going to mention like 30 points and we close. We take communion and we close. I've told you by 7.15 and we need to be closing our service 7.15. Number one, pray abundantly in the spirit. I'm not talking about praying when you pray. You see sometimes, there's like some of us that used to drive, I feel like driving away from the other. The same tongue you'll be hearing. And when I hear those tongues, what I'm hearing, remember sweet? I am dirty, I am dirty. I am dead. I am dead. You need to understand the interpretation of the of the spirit of speaking in tongues. He is dirty. He is dirty. He is dirty. No wonder his life is dirty. Pray abundantly. Are you there? Can we just pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute? Pray, pray, pray. We are separating ourselves from the child. So anytime we pray in the spirit, we are downloading the anointing of God's spirit for uncommon manifestation of signs and wonders and miracles. You saw how Jesus was praying in the tongues. He said, Hail, Hail is Sabbatani. And as he prayed, a miracle took place. Resurrection took place. So anytime we pray in the spirit, we are praying. The will of God into our sins. Someone who is praying the will of God, say amen. amen. Say your loudest amen. amen. Number two, by feeding yourself on the word of God, that is how to get the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When you open your Bible, you sit down, you read it. You may not understand it, but with time you will understand it. Because you say you have an unction from the only one of Israel. That will bring everything to your remembrance. First John chapter 2, verse 27. It will bring it that those things you have read 10 years ago, you don't notice that it just start coming on you. And you're wondering where this thing coming from. You don't remember one day. You are because I am born, I am born again to be intelligent again. I am born again to behave like Christ. I am born again not to be a dummy. I am born again not to be a living dirty lad. So reading the word of God, sharpen our antenna of the spirit. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. He said, Blessed is he that read it. The word of this prophecy that I hear in this night. Pray in the spirit. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 20, verse 7, 17. He said, Pray coming by hearing, by hearing the word of God. So when we read the word of God, we are reading the anointing of God into our lives. The Bible is the most anointed book. Every other book is anointed, but the Bible is the most anointed book. To be one day is to be anointed. That is. Anytime you are reading and meditating on the word of God, the anointing of God's presence is the charge upon you as a reader. Number three, finally, by, by feeding ourselves with testimonies of the art of God and the works of God. You feed yourself. You feed yourself. Just feed yourself. By feeding ourselves with the, with this, with the word of God. Feed 
feeding ourselves with testimony of the heart and the works of God. By feeding ourselves with the testimony of the heart of God and the works of God. Lord, if you can visit Sarah, you can visit me. If you can feed 5,000 multitudes, you can feed this year, next Sunday. Feeding yourself with the testimony of the heart. That is what brings the anointing of God upon your life. Look at the woman with, blind, with, woman with the issue of love. He heard about how what Jesus has done. And he said, if I can hear, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. I shall be made whole. And when he touched the hem of the garment, the Bible says, the flow of the blood stops. What you hear affects you. That's why you need to be careful about frustrated people in church. Who tell you negative in church here? Now, so your pastor, the TV verse. When you hear that kind of person, even by you, who report him to us. Because when they finish feeding them, he said, gather the twelve bank basket and they gather it. They gather it. They gather it. Go eat waste. Are you picking something this thing? Mind will you hear in church? If I were you, program your mind to focus on the sent man. And his wife. Apart from that, all that people are not necessary to you. I made up my mind when I joined Winner Chapel. The Holy Bishop, people will I be hearing. And that has helped my faith. I have one brother in the ushering. The guy spoke one word to me. It took me two years to start believing Bishop Bidipu. Today he's a beggar. That guy is a confirmed beggar now. If originally I just said, I will not be sending money again. Because what? You are eating from the fruit of your labor. He can't be well with you if you talk against the anointed. Though. You may see things working out, but later, life will go down. I have seen practically. His marriage has cut now. The guy's marriage has cut her. And when he wants to ask money, he doesn't have mother. Can you send me 2000 I remember those days. I said, This one, it took me two years to see deliverance. It was Bishop Adamu God used to deliver me. When I see Papa Ileko, you know what comes to my mind? Those kind of people, Bible called them son of partitions, that they will end up committing suicide. That's what the Bible said about them. If you don't have discipline of talking, mind the way you talk. Mind will you hear in church? If I were you, get a note, get your pen, your Bible. When your um, pastor comes to preach on Wednesday and Sunday, pick the message. Work for God. Too much of our you will bring so much of insults. Go on and digest the prophecy. The prophecy where I spoke generally. If you have written them down, you are praying with them, you will have seen the manifestation. I told one of you that is going to be minister of federal Republic of Nigeria. And he, she wrote it down and she counted, started fast and pray about it. Has it not come to pass now? Came to pass. Be careful of who you have your ears. A man came recently to church after service. Started talking about you. You, are, you came to come and ask for money. You are still talking. I say, uh, my mind, I wanted to give him. I went to the church to do assistance for him and give him good money. But when I heard that finish, I, went, I said they should give him 2000 Let him carry his life and go. Beware. And protocols, ushers, that you are doing your work, learn to be friendly people. Laugh with, laugh, laugh. In every unit, ushering, choir, let's laugh. Let's show people that we love God and we love them. That is how to flow in the realm of the spirit. Are you getting me this evening? Can I hear loud and say man? Can I hear loud and say man? I remember a story about a man when I was with Bishop Baremu. I went to Sam Daddy. Are you hearing me? Look at me here. I'm telling you a real story. This guy, when Bishop talk, you know what this boy would do? When we come to the room, 
One day I give him blow. I find out correct blow. That was the first time I that was the first time I know I fight I fought on that bishop. I I I punch on with blow, this is my swallow. Because I came here for three months to learn the work of God. I don't want it to pollute my mind. You know that guy now is late now. He's late. Marriage scatter. After I think go jump organizer, organizer now. He died. Bishop will send us, he will, when change the will say, let's share the change on the road. I look at myself, this guy is not going anywhere. I need to know. When we sleep in the room, I will sleep in the floor. I don't want to sleep on the same bed with him. I don't hate him, but I don't like the character he has. The one that got me angry, Bishop, Bishop, I will chance somebody. As he chanced the person, the person was going in the car. He said, that's so, I saw the chance also here. I nod him. I, I hold him and nod him. The blood was coming out of his mouth. He wanted to pick stone. People held him down. I rushed him again. God saw that thing. That's why God said, you, you carry the man of God's grace. I said, I've carried the grace. Recently, he was telling me in the hotel there. He said, you have already carried the grace. See, things are done effortlessly. Effortlessly. Beware, not everybody needs the anointing in church. Some people are coming to collect annoyance. Beware. Beware who you give your ear to. I was speaking to a brother, me and my wife met one brother in this junior in I said, Why are you not coming to church? He says, So, brother, talk to me anyhow. He even abused me that I don't have children, that I have children out of wedlock. Ash. He says, Until that man leave the church, that's why I will come. And I'm praying that God will, God will disgrace him from Canada. I say you alone, woman cost you. The woman is naked and cost you. This one, I just look at my side, I say, go. I say, I need to work on myself. There are, see, let me tell you, no matter how anointed you are, there are some people you are anointed cannot change. They will see end up becoming useless human being in life. Mind who you give your ears to. I just told about that guy's story. Ah, I beat him up. Although he's rich, when I mean, he has power, but I'm a boxer. I learn boxing. I use the tactics of what I learned to beat him. And the bishop asked us, why did I, why did we, why did we fought? I said, sir, see what he said. He said, leave him now. The God will see both of you, will pay you for one day. No need to be angry with him. When you see bishop, you see him do eye service. That guy will be doing eye service. Mind will you hear in church. So your faith will not die. Mind will you hear in church. So I said to myself, some privileges must be cut off. Man, will you hear in church? Man, will you hear in church? Can I hear, man? If you are blessed, say, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. One day they send us to go and do something. Change remain 200. That guy cornered the change. I said, come, no. I drag his pocket. I want to tear it. I said, we are going to be bishop. You must give me the 200. Look at me, look at me. Say it's all right now. This will not be so. Now I change the chop. I said, no, chop is weak. When it was time to impart us for ministry, he imparted me, pour a whole big oil on my head. But he won't. Now hand. And he was happy. Mumu was happy. We'll see today. If you are serving, it will show. And if you are doing eye service, it will show. Stand your feet. How many of you are blessed tonight? My counsel for you tonight, pray at least 30 minutes, one hour or two hours daily, and you will enter into another realm of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come in your still water position right now. Anywhere you are tonight, you want to say, Pastor, I am a victim of what you have said. I need forgiveness today. I want to live a life that pleases God. I want to serve God with all my life. Wherever you are, I would like you to place your hand on your chest. I say it may Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I choose to follow you. No turn it back. In Jesus' name. Can I hear amen? Let me hear you loud there say amen. Let me hear you loud there say amen. Tonight, 
the Holy Ghost is coming on you afresh. Anywhere you are, you just pray that prayer. Today is your first, you're watching with us. The one will just please touch you. Please come to the front. Let's pray for you. Come, 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 come. Today is your first, you're watching with us. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, flesh. You can wear your slippers now. Oh, see. Stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Oh, I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Goodbye, what? 